that was pop. Back in this thing thing. Oh, I need to change my shirt. Um, I forgot what I said I would change it to. Fui? Did I say Fui? Oh, yeah, Fui. Yeah, so last time I streamed this, I got done with, what was it, Golden Dragon Grand Prix, or Golden Dragon GP, yep, that's what I got finished with, it was cool, um, I think I already messed around with this stuff last video, I can't remember if I checked the ramen blog or not. Oh gee, I don't remember. I missed one? Oh, you didn't take that many points off this one. Take a slurp of the soy sauce based soup, which even has a sort of swampish quality to it. As the sweet and salty aroma fills your nose. Yup, that's the stuff. The boiled tonkatsu and the tamari soy sauce get along just famously. The semi-thin noodles have taken in just enough of the soup, providing a sense of power to each and every bite. This ramen is, is almost like a side dish. It goes without saying that I score a big bowl of rice to go with it. To wash it all down, I put in my order for a nice foamy beer and they don't have any. Minus 28 points. Really? Why minus 28 when all the other ones are like a crazy amount? That's wild. Yeah, I just realized they kind of show you where they're located. That's neat. Sure. Uh, what shirt should I buy next? Hmm, there's another indie on here I've played. Well, actually, I have played super hot. Where are the Azteca stones for? More visual novel time. Hope the audio is good. Doom, 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 doom. Kamui's call. Ignore that dickhead! Hello? Like, now? I guess, yeah. You're going? Yeah. And I gave up on the digest. We're doing it old school. Da slash V ADV style. How cool is that? Just keep it simple. I hate Kamui. Who's this again? Is this a chick? Oh, it's old buddy. Thanks for coming all the way here. This is the East Coast, right? We're pretty damn far from Texas. You'll be getting the check. Eat whatever you like. Gene, you want something? I hate this guy, so I'll be outside. Bring me a cherry shake. I totally can't trust this guy. Cats never lie, you know. Fuh. Fuh. 
I'll have a garlic fat boy burger, fries, and a peacherine shake. That's a thing. Peacherine? How refined. I'll go get it. What's your name, buddy? Who the hell are you? Nobody you know. Just a Japanese guy passing by. So, what do you want? Hey now, don't get so defensive. How do you know that man? You mean Kamui? He's just some dude. A friend? Nope. Okay then, be careful. That man's dangerous. I figured that much. I bet you did. Your bloodlust is pretty hardcore. Like nothing I've seen. Yours is pretty obvious too. You're a detective, right? Maybe. In Japan, I would have shot you in the face. I would have killed your ass first. Don't get killed by Kamui. Don't get killed by America. <laughs> Thanks for the warning. What the fuck? <laughs> Sorry for the delay. So, what did you want to talk about? Well, actually. Well, I wanted to tell you how amazing these burgers are. No, that's a, no, that's a trap. Sorry. But save that for next time. We've generated too much text. Localization costs are getting insane. Bruh. So I want to keep things simple. Do you feel me? No problem. I'm an ADV man myself. I'll keep it short. Come to Tokyo Zero Ward. There's trouble. Got it. I'll go help out. What sort of trouble anyway? It's complicated. Is that okay? I'll give you one line. Juvenile lives in Zero Ward. Oh, okay. So there's a death ball there. Yes! Thanks! <laughs> I don't know why it's so funny. So, where are we going? The airport, duh. What about your passport? Do you even have to ask? It's at home. Rip. Let's go back home. <laughs> Did you find, did you find it? Shit. Huh, what's wrong? My password's expired. God, you're such a loser. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking cat. So how long do we have to wait? We're at the passport center? No idea. It's almost summer vacation. So all the kids are getting their passports. The house elves. Hey, you're up. You can finally go to Japan. Japanese airline food is delicious. That's Japan for you. Mm -hmm. Of course, they're in Akihabara. Jean, it's Japan! It's Akihabara! Travis, let's go to a maid cafe. I want to see some maids. Before maids, I need some figurines. After that, we'll see some maids. I'm exhausted. I'm sleepy. Uh-oh. It's a trap. Yawn. Mama, I miss you. What? Wake up! Travis, wake up! Huh? Where am I? Japan. In the hotel at Kiyabara. What a comfy ass hotel. That was the best REM sleep ever. I'm so sleepy. We're not here to screw around like Kiyabara, remember? 
Oh yeah, Juvenile used to live in Zero War. Let's check it out. Okay! This is Zero Ward. Oh, I'm sorry. This is Zero Ward. Ha, ah, I get it. It's called 25th Ward Station? What's that mean? Who knows? Well, this town reeks of death. Spoilers? No, I'm not. Are you Travis? Here for your appointment? I don't have an appointment, but I am Travis. Could you hurry up and get on? I'll take you. Where? To the appointed location. We'll see. Jean, get on. What a cute kitty. Meow, meow. Sorry, I'm not feeling it right now. It talks? Just hurry up and go. Okay, fine. Kowloon, no. Urshi Wulong City. This is where Juvenile used to live. We were like BFFs. BFFs, huh? Cool, so what kind of person is she? Complicated. Hard to explain. It'd take days to explain, Jude. Can I ask you something? Don't bother. The death blow, right? You know about that? Jude's ex-boyfriend has it. Okay. Maybe. She gave it to him when they broke up. Even though they broke up? A woman's heart is a stormy thing. You... You're kind of thick, huh? So who is this guy? His ex-boyfriend. We're supposed to ask all 3,000 residents here for info on the ex-boyfriend. But I'll skip that for character limit reasons. Thank you. Thanks. I appreciate the service. I'll take you there now. The kitty can stay here. Okay. I'll take it now. Cats. Here, is that a house, like, underwater? This is just the ocean. What's supposed to be here? Do you see the roof? Sticking out over there? See the roof? Sorry for yawning. The roof of a house? It's underwater. That's where Juve lived. What? That's K. Kurumizawa. Welcome to my home, Travis. You're my first foreign guest. I'm glad you're here. You're like, on the water. Pay no mind to that. Bro, what? How do you just pay no mind to the whole body of water around your damn house? I'm what's called an observer. This is nothing, really. You're a creepy ass dude. What are we doing standing here talking? Please, this way. Please? Here. It's Japanese tea. Drink it while it's warm. Did you just use magic? What the hell are you? This is where we used to live. Though my time with her was short. It feels like we spent decades together. She's something really special. I felt the first time we met at the mall. The mall is crowded on Sundays. Among the crowd, she alone was colorless. Colorless and transparent. Like she didn't really exist, yet floated there. She was at the sale area, checking discounts. That domestic vibe and that transparency. I was just enchanted with her. Sorry, but I'm in a hurry. Can you get to the point? Sorry. I was lost in my memory. This is what you're looking for, right? Juvenile gave this to you? She asked me to give it to an American guy named Travis who'd come looking for it. She knew my name? She said you'd be a famous assassin. I wish I could have known you earlier. Know me for what? I wanted to start a revolution together. 
We could have destroyed justice itself. My justice is my own thing. I don't give a shit about your revolution. Is that so? Well, it's a shame it ended that way. What's with the past tense? That was what juveniles wanted. I guess this is why. This ball is entrusted to you. He disappeared? Nope, that's not it. Did someone delete him? What the fuck? Whatever. Got me a death ball. Hey. I have no idea what the... Oh, huh? I saw everything. So you're Kamui. Kamui? You mean Kamui Uihara? Your bloodlust is abnormal. You're fucked up. You can't kill me with that gun. I'll take your head right off. Maybe, Kamui. But either way, I'm, go I'll I'm gonna kill myself. Huh? This kid's dangerous. Lights out, punk. Kamui, Kamui, Kamui. That was an awesome move. It was a legendary suplex. I meant to throw him gently. He's out cold and his eyes are weird. Hey, bike delivery girl, can you take care of him for me? Sure, but are you gonna be okay? I just went back. To where? To America. <laughs> this, this, this shit is weird. But what does this mean? So I swam back all the way back to Texas. This game really is on some other shit. Death ball acquired. All right. You better must save. Oh, this game is called Killer Marathon? Wait, what the fuck? I didn't know anything about this. Dang, now my stream tile is like pointless. <laughs> Whoops. I have to retcon this. Hold on, give me one moment. I know no one's watching the stream, so no one's gonna notice regardless. <laughs> This song rides, by the way. I probably can't tell there, but it rides. Alright, that's good enough. Alright. Killer Marathon. I don't know what to expect from this. It's game time. But it's game time. Let me get some water while this does a little introduction.
What is going on here? Where am I? It's on a construction. What are you, blind? On a construction? What the hell does that mean? This is what it looks like when the location is being built in Unreal. Are you serious? So it's a work in progress, huh? How much of is it how much of it is done? I have no idea. Go ask that woman, Dr. Juvenile. She is kinda moody. She had problems with the staff while making killer marathon. Huh? She started flipping over tables and stuff, making them redo the whole thing. Did somebody piss her off? Every game development team is unique to others. I mean, that's probably true for any type of workplace, but none of them are that simple. Okay. I don't know what to expect. People who say, I'll follow you forever, usually don't. Not even 10%. Hmm. This is bizarre. Grandpa's words of wisdom. You shouldn't go any further. Pandora's box coming back. It's called a death drive. Oh. You got a customer. Welcome. Come on in. I want ramen. This ramen character is the best. Your supplies ramen and that's it. Ooh, some call to show you. The Yokohama bad boy. Classic. Alright, still no to expect What? Death Drive? So this is supposed to be like the original? What the fuck? What am I doing here? So I have no clue what's going on. Whoa. Oh. Okay. It's actually funny because I like asteroids, like OG asteroids. Although I only played asteroids on um oh god. On Windows 98. 
Maybe go to start the accessory in game. There. Am I supposed to even be? Okay. Okay, so I got an extra life for now. So, pressing Y does a big explosion thing. There's no real indication of when you have it. No, fam. I don't really like these controls. Ugh. Cause it's not a twin stick shooter, it's like single stick. I don't like it. that happen. Oh jeez, this really just spat me back out. That's really strange. Wish they get the loading times better for this. Oh, whoa. The copy of Killer Marathon I got wasn't just some pirate version. It was a Death Drive port of the legendary arcade game that started all, created by John Winter himself. Yeah, well, yeah it was an arcade port. Huh. <laughs> Testament to them shitty arcade ports back in the day. Apparently it's not finished. Dungeon Juvenile must have created by analyzing records and memories. I suddenly have flashbacks to when I was a kid happening upon this game. The light emanating, excuse me, the light emanating from the creepily alluring vector graphics seemed to pull me into another dimension. I wonder if Juvenile created this Death Drive Mark II specifically to facilitate this very experience. I kind of sympathize with Juvenile. No, that's just my imagination. Next up is the sixth Death Ball, the final game. What will Dr. Juvenile show me next? Bring on the next game. Yeah, okay, what's going on here? So the fifth game was bugged. That's really strange to me. Ramen blog, fact season K, new scenario, save. 
I'm very confused. So is the DLC? Why the second DLC is supposed to have that completed game in it? That's very odd. I don't know what to make of that. But it happened. Very strange. Hacking the CIA led to a terrifying discovery. We realized why almost 30 years of time passing had apparently reawakened the DDMK2. Deep beneath CIA headquarters sleeps the DD mother machine, the DD AAA, Death Drive AAA. This mother machine was an all new tool of war. After training the clones, they could be controlled remotely after being sent into the field. The clones were loaded with filtered cameras making the opponents they faced in battle look like nothing more than the bugs you've been finding inside these games. Hmm. Erasing any sort of guilt and doing away with both the physical and mental damage sustained by actual soldiers in battle. These drones were the ultimate war machines. After Vietnam and the Middle East, these drones, incapable of suffering PTSD, would prove to be the most amazing and terrible solution possible to America's military issues. Clearing six games will cause the DD AAA, sleeping beneath the CIA headquarters, to reset and eventually restore itself. And you are about to make this happen. However, I want you to remember this. I am in no position to stop you. Actually, with such an accurate idea of the timing of the system restoration, I should be able to handle this. Crisis means opportunity. We will fight for hope. God bless America. Okay. So Kay has to be that dude I met before. It has to be. Okay. 